everybody and welcome back to another Wheel of Time video. Uh, in today's video we'll be running through the news and the many many leaks that have dropped in the past few weeks about the upcoming Wheel of Time television show. As I've said in the past, I'm trying to keep my Wheel of Time news videos to around two per month rather than making a video about each thing that drops. That way I can keep getting out lore content that many of you guys want. But since my last news video, there's been a ton of new information released. So I'm excited to get through all this with you. Before getting into that, I do want to quickly mention a couple things that you all should check out. First of all, if you're a Wheel of Time junkie and you love doing Wheel of Time trivia, and you haven't checked out IPA's weekly Wheel of Time quizzes, you should do so. Uh, it's a ton of fun and they're really challenging. Uh, I participate in these most weeks and it's a lot of fun. More importantly, this coming Sunday, March 1st, is the one year anniversary of Ipa running his weekly quiz and he's doing something special this week. Uh, this would be a great week for you to join and check it out. As he's got some special guests coming in, I'll be there and he'll be supporting a charity. So if you want to join the quiz, it's absolutely free. He does these weekly. I'll link his Discord server uh, in the description below, and that's where you can join in and actually be a part of the quiz. Just, all you gotta do is click that link and you'll be joined in. The one year anniversary quiz will be taking place this coming Sunday, March 1st at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also wanna give a big shout out to Mike's book reviews here on YouTube. He's a booktuber that just gives really honest reviews about books, and he's in the middle of reading The Wheel of Time for the first time. Uh, in fact, he just finished and posted his review of Winter's Heart. I really, really enjoy and love his takes on the books, and I've binged all of his Wheel of Time videos, mainly because it's incredibly fun to watch someone experience these books for the first time, and I enjoy his takes on the different books. Uh, I'll have a link to his latest video in the description below, but make sure to give him a subscription and watch his stuff, it's great. One other quick mention is a new Wheel of Time YouTube channel run by one of the moderators for my Discord server, and this is somebody that's really helped me greatly in building this channel behind the scenes. The Badger Reborn has started a YouTube channel, uh, and he posted his first video, so it's extremely difficult to get an audience and get started on YouTube, and so if you guys want to give him a sub, watch his video and give it a like. That's really going to help him get started on YouTube. And he's actually got some really cool stuff to say about the way that he thinks the episodes are going to be broken down. His first video is a breakdown of the way that he sees episode one playing out in the show. It's going to be really good. One other quick thing I'll mention about Badger is that he has zero previous editing experience and really experience making videos. But he learned how to do all of this by using Skillshare. Skillshare is one of the main sponsors for the channel. If you've never heard of them... They're a huge online depository of courses that teach you how to pretty much do everything. You can learn how to edit videos, how to draw, how to use Adobe Photoshop, and really anything you desire to learn. I'm currently taking a few cooking courses because I'm trying to learn how to be a top tier chef. It takes a lot of food to maintain this physique. Anyways, because you are one of my viewers, they're going to give you two free months of their service so you can check out a bunch of the different courses. Once your two months is up, it's extremely inexpensive to keep the service, and it's one of the most worthwhile things that I pay for. You can find the link to that free trial for Skillshare in the description below or by typing in what's on the screen right here right now. The great part with Skillshare is that by just signing up for the free trial, you help support the channel whether you end up paying for their service or not. So let me throw up a spoiler warning for the video. Today's video will carry a spoiler rating of red with spoilers just through The Great Hunt and potentially for the first season of The Wheel of Time TV show. Please come back and watch this video later if you have not read through the second book of the series. So guys, there's been so much that has come out in the past few weeks from releases from the show to leaked photos or even leaked production videos. Uh, I'm going to address it all and hopefully give you some insight and speculation, but I first want to say something that I feel like I need to address about all these leaks. I want to first of all be clear about a couple things. First, fans have zero obligation to not pursue information about something they're interested in. You should not feel bad about watching leaked material or you shouldn't shy away from watching it unless you just don't want to. A fan does not have an obligation one way or the other. And I'm a fan, absolutely. But at this point, I'm also a content creator with a fairly small but pretty dedicated audience. I can't promote content that's essentially stolen from the production team, even if it does interest me a great deal as a fan. The burden of what I talk about or what I promote on this channel is something that I'm always having to deal with. I will say that I have been in contact with individuals that are part of the production. Not regularly by any means, but I have spoken with a couple different people 
in various roles within the show. One thing that has been said to me multiple times is that the leaks from the show are extremely hurtful to the showrunners. Not only from an excitement standpoint, as they kind of want to be able to show you the finished product of what they intend first, uh, but also from a monetary standpoint. I, I will not comment further, so don't ask me about it, but I will tell you this. They are literally spending millions and millions of dollars per episode on this show. For any of you that think that they are making another Shannara Chronicles with this budget, uh, you could not be more wrong. Uh, they are spending close to the entire budget of the first season of Shannara Chronicles in one episode. So when images or videos of what they're doing leak, it represents millions of dollars of set design, costume design, and even CGI. They are not getting to show you what they intend or the finished product. And so when people draw certain conclusions based on an unfinished product and it negatively affects the show, they lose money. I say all this for one reason. I am purposefully not the first person to ever comment on leaked material, and I will not be in the future. Once something is pretty widely known, it wouldn't make any sense not to talk about it, but I do respect the people that I know that are putting in their words blood, sweat, and tears into the production. That all being said, we're going to run through it all and talk about all the leaks right now, the news, and then some speculation. But understand that none of what we're talking about here is a finished product. You are not seeing what's intended for you to see. And so when you're looking at a leak, I'm going to continue to be very careful about what I talk about in regards to the show. And I will not be leaking any copyrighted material myself. So let's talk about some news that's a few weeks old that I speculated on in my last news video. And that is some of the actors and actresses that we know that were at the episode 5 and 6 table read that we don't have confirmed roles for. The first is Peter Franzen. Uh, it was an absolute surprise to me when we saw him in the pictures without even a mention of his name as he's kind of arguably the biggest name of any of the actors or actresses that they released pictures of. He's probably the most famous actor in Finnish history, and he's extremely good on the show Vikings. We got an interview about a week after the release of the video that clarified his role and it gave some more information. Basically, to break it down, he's confirmed to have a role in the story, and it referred to it as a guard role for a powerful woman, so essentially implying that he's going to be playing a warder. The name of his character was not given, and it was said to not be a large role in this season of the story. I think that there's a lot of speculation as to whether or not he could be playing Elias, or if he's just another warder for one of the Aes Sedai that come to Faldara. At this point, I'm probably leaning towards another warder, just simply because I think that the parts with Elias would probably have already happened before episode 5 and 6. Another actress that we know was a part of the series was Jennifer Garcia, in an unnamed Aes Sedai role. It was confirmed later that she would be playing the role of Liana Sharif, something that I had actually speculated on in the news video. Liana is a Damani Aes Sedai who is the keeper of the Chronicles to Swan Sanche. Damani are known to be very seductive, and I can certainly see how Jennifer can pull that role off. I think this is a great choice just based on the way she looks, but she is a good actress from the other roles that I've seen her in. But there we have it, there's our Liana. So let me hit on the last big casting announcement that I have not yet covered, and that may be the most important. You all may remember months back I did a video talking about the most important casting decisions that would face the production team and I gave my suggestion on what they should do and what I thought would happen. It appears to my great chagrin that they have chosen not to proceed with my choices for the casting of Bella and instead have chosen to go with an actual horse. A horse named Archie has been cast in the role of Bella and while I'm sure Archie will do really well, this is a major step down from my choices. If you want to see who I chose to play Bella, make sure to check out my casting video for Bella you can find a link to that video in the description below. By the way, that is a very serious video, so definitely not any type of satire. So let's move on from casting news and hit some of the leaked images that have been hitting the internets. First, let's start with the images of a large structure in the middle of the field. It's been speculated that this is a way gate. There are several photos, and I would tend to agree with this, that this is most likely the way gate in Shinar. The image of the way gate with a green screen behind it even adds more weight to this. So in terms of the look, this isn't exactly how I pictured a way gate in my head, but it is certainly an impressive sight. And like I mentioned earlier, they are very obviously going to be adding some CGI to these shots. So I'm going to reserve my judgment on that until we can see the finished product. One thing I do find interesting about the way gate uh, is it seems to have gotten inspiration from a trip to Bali that the writers took from the show way back in March of 2019. You can see they're maybe pulling some inspiration from some of the ruins there in Bali. So that's pretty interesting, I think. Let me also take a moment to talk about the most controversial of these leaks, and that is the leaking of a set photo, as well as a few scenes involving wolves and white cloaks that have been leaked to the public. Both of these were done without the blessing of the production team, but I will talk about them now as they have made the rounds. I'm not going to post or show those videos here, as I don't want my video demonetized and like i said earlier i'm not really about posting pirated content 
but you can easily find them if you want to. Basically, there's a picture making the rounds of Yasha Stradowski as Rand and Barney Harris as Matt in a darkly lit and foggy village. They appear to be on their own, and the village in the background looks very much the same as the village that we've seen in the other leaks. Not much can be guessed as to what they're doing, but it would seem like this is one of the stops on their way to Camelin. More about that village here in a minute. Uh, the other video is of a wolf or a dog attacking a man in a white cloak. It's a very short clip, but there's a couple things to take away from this. First of all, I think we're going to have scenes with the wolves attacking White Cloaks in the story. Duh. So the plot, that part of the plot is not going to be cut. Another thing to pull from the clip is that the wolf is actually a dog in the video. Uh, but again, this is not a final product. The cameraman in the scene is super close to the White Cloak. My guess is they're using perspective to make the dogs appear to be larger wolves. Uh, that's definitely a camera trick. I'm not going to get too deep into picking this video apart for the reasons I've already stated. But my big takeaways from this are that they're not going to be cutting any plot lines with the wolves and White Cloaks and that they are sticking with some practical effects, both of which I am very happy about. I was really hoping that we would not see CGI wolves, and it looks like we're going to get very real animal actors, at least for part of the story. Another piece of information I thought I'd bring to all of you is not actually news, but more some good investigation from Twitter user at Geek Yeri, who did some research on the Amazon shows and the time frames from production to trailer to release. This is some really interesting stuff. Make sure to follow at Geek Yeri on Twitter. And also thank you to the Daily Trolloc for reposting this on Instagram and bringing it to my attention. So let's talk about these numbers. Basically, primary thing to be pulled from this, in my opinion, is the length of production. For anyone thinking that they were doing like a super cheap and not investing too much into this, the other shows on this list received 8 to 12 million per episode to produce and we're wrapped in filming in around six months. Wheel of Time is on a nine month production schedule for filming. They are not even close to trying to cheapen this up or cutting corners with locations. This is gonna be epic and large in scope. They're not shooting it all on a green screen in a studio and that's really, really good news. Committing to a nine month production schedule essentially means Amazon has gone all in on the show. The fact that there's talk of the show coming out this year means they must also be doing some of the post-production work as they're completing it, as they're filming it. Now, all of this also means that I may have been premature and expecting a trailer to be released based on their typical schedules. Doesn't mean that we won't get a teaser here soon, but I probably wouldn't expect anything based on this information until at least mid-summer of this year, with the earliest expected release date for the show in November or December of 2020. Last thing I want to hit on is the picture released by Rafe Judkins and Amazon Studios that is the official shot of first day shooting. We're going to pick this apart, but let's first throw up the post on the screen from the Wheel of Time on Prime Instagram account. The caption says, throwback to day one on the set. Which is interesting because we have already gotten a quote from Rafe that it says that the first shot they did was of Johan Myers as Padon Fane rolling into the two rivers. That would seem to imply that the leaked photos of this set are in fact Emmons Field and that what we are seeing here is Emmons Field on the first day of shooting. I know I've said in the past that I hope the leaked photos of the set that we saw were not going to be Emmons Field, but again, this is not a final product and the way that it is shot matters. They will very likely use the same set for multiple villages, just shot from different angles. This is exactly what was done in Game of Thrones. This is clearly a wide shot, so uh, what we end up seeing on screen is gonna look very differently from what we're seeing here. So let's take a look at the picture and see what we can find. I think this person here at the bottom of the picture is Rafe Judkins, but it's hard to really completely confirm that. We've also got multiple people with special effects jackets uh, that are around the camera tracks for the various shots. Standing next to the camera track on the right is a person that looks to be Marcus Rutherford, the actor playing Perrin. Again, it's difficult to say for certain, but it certainly appears to be him. All of the camera tracks appear to be surrounding a tree in the middle of the picture and a wagon parked right next to it. There are also a number of women surrounding the wagon. Now, it's hard to say what they're filming, but it certainly appears to be women's circle business. Now, <laughs> another thing that completely stands out to me that I haven't seen a lot of people talking about is an area where they have clearly blurred the picture out next to the wagon. This is a person right in front of the horses that appears to be a woman that we can't make out. And again, it's clear that this area was purposefully blurred so we couldn't see it. The person in the blur doesn't appear to be costumed, but my first thought is that it was Moraine and that they wanted to save the reveal of Rosamund Pike, decked out in her Moraine garb, uh, for a later marketing thing, but I can't tell the costume through the blur, really, so it's hard to speculate on who that figure might be. I'm very curious what you all make of this picture. Make sure to let me know what you can find in the comments below. Also, please like the video and smash that subscribe button to be updated when I release new Wheel of Time news and lore content. You should also check out and join the channel's Discord server. I know many of you don't know much about Discord. I certainly didn't before I had one, but it's basically like the new version of the old theory board uh, 
websites. And if you love talking about the Wheel of Time, you will fit right in in our community. Just click the link in the description of the video to join. It's really that easy. Lastly, check out the Patreon if you want to support what I'm doing here on the channel. Your support means everything to me and makes this channel possible. Thank you so much to all of you who already support me already. Hey guys, thanks for watching and until next time, peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do. Mistress up above, slipping on the rope of blue. She prances down the staircase, a fancy oh so free. Crying, Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?